with this size of uh, budget problem that we've got, the challenge is enormous. And what we are looking to do is to try and focus all of our resources into delivering services. So we're going to try and look for smarter, more, more sensible ways of doing things, but protecting as many of the services as we can do. So things that people rely on, like the library service, we will be making cuts within the library service, but we're going to protect the libraries. We will be rationalising some of the things that we do in the fire service, but all the retained fire stations will stay open. In any budget proposals, people would always expect us to be as efficient and to make sure that the efficiencies are properly in place before considering any service cuts. And that's exactly what we've done and what we're doing. So what you will see is um, not only the, the short-term cuts, but sometimes quite major investor save schemes. So we're spending money on County Hall, but it's not just to dress it up, it's to make sure that we can close other offices, we can cut down on staffing costs, we can be more efficient. And there will be spending on other things like new um, computer systems, but they're not gonna be flash high-risk systems. They are gonna be very important, but what they are gonna enable us to do is to work more efficiently. This is a genuine consultation process, and we want the people of Norfolk to genuinely take part. What we're trying to do is to avoid making the cuts. So we're looking for suggestions about alternatives to the cuts. We're looking for ways that perhaps we could generate income in other ways. And if we, when we do get to the position of having to make those difficult choices, what we need people to tell us is what their priorities are. We are gonna get more efficient. We are gonna make the organization better and what we do want to do is to make sure that the services that we deliver are what people expect despite the cuts.